Typhoon Francisco is approaching the coast of Kyushu today and is now a Category 1 on the Sappho Simpson scale. Winds of 75 miles per hour, pressure 983 millibars estimated. It's a 31.1 north, 133.4 degrees east. On the CDPS, uh, the projected landfall area is near Nichinan and this is what we're looking at here stage three on the cdps rainfall potential is still the largest out of the lot potentially 250 millimeters could fall over parts of kyushu the storm isn't very far away at this point and tropical storm force winds could be seen already on kyushu and shikoku right now quite possibly as of 9 p.m japan time this august the 5th it's 130 miles from Miyazaki, which is the first place that it will really um, traverse over when it moves over Kyushu and then off over the rest of the island. Uh, pretty much all parts of the island could be affected by tropical storm force winds, but it will be worse um, near the center and obviously further north. Typhoon warning in effect for these areas, parts of southern Kyushu, mainly the Kagoshima prefecture and southeastern South Korea. Gale advisory is still extending as far east as Wakayama and as far south as Amami. Looking at rainfall over the next few days, this is the projection. Taking it into land, you can see a huge amount of rain being dumped over eastern Kyushu and then another quite uh, large amount over the far southeastern tip, really, of South Korea and possibly even parts of eastern North Korea as well when the storm curves back towards the northeast. You can see another big uh, typhoon approaching on the rainfall graphic there from the south over the next few days. We might be talking about that a lot more in the future. At the minute, projected to miss Japan, even though it doesn't look like. Sea surface temperatures look like this. Uh, this is probably why it's managed to become a typhoon close to Japan. You'd think the surface, sea surface temperature would be a bit lower, but they are still around 29 degrees Celsius, and that will continue all the way to Korea. This is what we expect now. I mean, there's not too much to say on the actual forecast because most of it has now um, passed us, uh, but it will then move into South Korea and then most likely turn towards the northeast, back out over sea and turn post-tropical. You can see two typhoons there forming in its wake um, over the Western Pacific. The first one, Lakima, was on the left-hand side. There goes and strikes Taiwan, according to the GFS model. And that's a look there at that other system. I think that's 95W becoming a very large typhoon and on the prowl just off the coast of Honshu. Chances of tropical storm force winds look like this. 90% in Miyazaki, no surprise there. 88% at Kumamoto, 80% at Fukuoka, 65% at Nagasaki, and 62% in Busan in southeastern South Korea. Models look like this. Um, yet to catch up actually looking at this uh, one or two models had it right from the beginning and even the JTWC did as well before they backed off uh, the storm reaching typhoon status but it has happened now wind shear remains low until landfall and sea surface temperatures very high so there is a chance for further intensification right up until landfall in Kyushu which will occur in about 12 to 18 hours here is the latest satellite imagery the floater imagery Visible first of all, you can see how the eye feature has been developing. Well, not just a feature, it is actually an eye. Um, the water vapor imagery showing it too, not quite as well as I thought it would. Um, but the banding is reaching parts of Shikoku and just about to reach Kyushu as well. It's a pretty compact storm and because it's moving quickly, it will be gone before a huge amount of time has passed. It's not going to be one of those that stalls. Uh, you can see on the RB top in particular though, the eye starting to develop and later images will probably show it even clearer. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.